week ago, the Libyan rebels took control of this oil city and their drive to reach Tripoli. However, defending Raslanov proved more difficult than capturing it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. On Thursday, the Qaddafi government launched its most devastating counter-offensive. As the battle intensifies here in Raslanouf, so do the methods which Qaddafi is now using to push further into rebel territory. They bombed the rebel city of Raslanouf from air, land, and according to the rebels, by sea. <laughs> The rebels were surrounded and within range of the heavy artillery of Qaddafi's forces. From fighter jets, helicopters, tanks, mortars to Russian missile launchers, the government's forces unleashed a barrage of bombs, missiles, rockets and bullets. Meanwhile, the snipers moved closer to the city. Without air power and a limited range of arms such as rocket launchers and Kalashnikovs, the rebels were severely outgunned. Even under this level of attack, the rebels reject foreign intervention. Most of the rebels are volunteers, not professional fighters. Some don't even carry a firearm. Defenseless when the bombs fall, it's difficult to know where they are coming from or where to seek refuge. But the rebels seem to have one advantage, their conviction that their cause is just. They insist and demonstrate that they are not afraid to die for their country. Civilian areas were also under attack by Qaddafi's forces as residential neighborhoods were bombed. The volunteer doctors in this wrestling of hospital evacuated after missiles fell near the building. The mosque close by the hospital also came under attack. The sounds of mortars and bombs competed with the call to prayer. Although the streets were empty, their voices could be heard throughout the surrounding area. Forced to leave Raslanov, doctors tended to the wounded on the side of the road. The cases are serious. This rebel lost his fingers, this one lost his foot. In Brega's clinic, an hour and a half east of Raslanov, doctors counted 35 wounded and 4 dead, including an 18-year-old youth. There was little feeling of security in Brega. People ran for cover as a plane flew over the clinic. Later in Raslanouf, the rebels finally retreated giving up the city. Jahan Hafiz for The Real News in Raslanov, Libya.